Good Saturday morning, good Saturday morning. Y'all, it's been a long time since I've uh, done a Saturday uh, video. But once again, um, I have been blessed uh, with some words um, that I that I want to share with you. So let's just get with it. I hope you are enjoying your Saturday morning. I'm going to tell you right now, God say so. I want to relax. <laughs> I want to relax for most of the day, and uh, then if God says so, get up and maybe put on some type of food and maybe go take a walk. You know, God is good to us, um, not to foreshadow the word. You know, I just want to say a lot is going on in the world right now. We got the war in Ukraine. We got devastating tornadoes that have come through once again. Just a lot of stuff going on, and I want to say, first of all, get up and enjoy your time with God. When he wake you up, when you first open your eyes, before you even get off your bed or wherever you're sleeping, go on and give reverence to God and ask him for a great day. Thank him for a blessed day because he got you up for a reason. So don't take don't take light of it. That's what I want to say. Don't take light. But I got something for you. Like I said, anytime I'm blessed, I like to pay it forward. So let's get this. Now, the scripture reference is Job chapter 16 verse 5 so there's your scripture text get your bible get your device i would strengthen you with my mouth i would strengthen you with my mouth speak words of healing speak words of healing even when a surgery is successful the patient can carry within them within them scar tissue that causes lingering pain and discomfort and it's the same in life some people around you wear a mask of success but within they carry wounds they're unable to talk about comedian jonathan winter said in an interview that his life was scarred by cruel things his parents said to him as a child i'm no crybaby but i remember things with almost total recall there's a lot of pain there his father said to him you're the dumbest kid i know and when he joined the marines and traveled to the south pacific during world war ii he received no support from his mother when he returned home he discovered his mother had given away his special personal things that he had stored in the attic. He was distressed, but her reaction was, how did we know that you were even going to live? Winters, the emotional scar, remain. Understand this, your words can wound or heal. They can inspire someone or reinforce their sense of failure and worthlessness. Job in the Bible, who suffered greater loss than most of us will ever know, said, I, but I will strengthen you with my mouth and the comfort of my lips would relieve your grief. Job in the Bible said, but I will strengthen you within my mouth and the comfort of my lips would relieve your grief how can you help someone who is hurting by giving them your opinion no by giving them the only opinion that matters god's and here is what god says i have loved you with an everlasting love therefore with loving kindness i have drawn you i will strengthen you with my mouth speak words of healing it is so important, especially in these days, because our children, just our world, period, is going through so much havoc and so many pestilences. And it can start in our own homes. It can be in our schools. Oh, Lord, on our jobs, just in a grocery store, you just hear people saying horrible, negative things, you know, negative conversations and just downtrodden things and when i read this this morning i said lord have mercy and i said it can scar you for life just like it said you know you can have a surgery and the surgery has healed but the wound is still on the inside causing you pain and you know i just thought about that 
And uh, I work at a school now. It wasn't what I was doing before COVID, but I work at a school now. Let me tell you, words can scar. And I had to recall um, an incident uh, because I work at an elementary school. And I recall an incident and I said, wow, words can scar. You know, even though we have to be um, adults and correct our children and lead them in their way, but words, how you use them can scar. And so I just referred back to that. And when I read that this read this this morning, I say, wow, speak words of healing. Lord have mercy, God. So anybody that you know, start by speaking words of healing in your home with your children, your babies, and then go on out into your job. You know, like I said, grocery store, wherever you are, speak words of healing because this is so important. Lord have mercy. All right. I love you all. Glad to talk to you on a Saturday. And thank you once again for everybody that comments. Y'all, I appreciate y'all's comments. When you comment, that lets me know that you're interacting with me. You know, <laughs> that means the world to me. I said that on my other video that I did Wednesday night, but I really do appreciate that. I appreciate you so much for commenting and uh, even watching my videos. And I hope that um, you're being blessed, you know, by what God gives me. And that's why I pass it on to. And uh, if Lord willing, um, I have something very special for you tomorrow on Sunday. So I'm asking you to definitely come in on tomorrow, Sunday, uh, March the 27th. And if God says so, I have something special. At least it's special to me, I think. But uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Have a great, blessed Saturday. And I'm going to go back to what I said. Don't take nothing for granted. If God gets you up, tell him thank you for you even get out of that bed. Then say, Lord, God, and bless my day, my children's day, my husband's day, my friend's day, my pastor's day, my co-worker's day. And get out and do something fun, no matter if you in... Uh, Rainy weather, sunny weather, you know, cold weather. Do something fun within reason and just enjoy the time that God has given us because right now God is showing us clearly there's all kind of stuff. And it says in the book of Revelation, woe to the ones that are nursing during the times that I am showing you some things. So read your book of Revelation. You'll see everything that's going on right now. You don't have to guess about it. Nothing you already know and live your life according to God. But all right, thank you this morning. I'm going to find me something to eat. Funny story, I've been laying up here. Well, actually, you know, we're uh, you know, going through Lent season. Not going through, but we're in Lent se season. So, you know, for 40 days, you know, you cut out a lot of things. And y'all, just I cut out meat. <laughs> so, if I tell you I laid up here from about 2 to 6 this morning... I saw hot dogs floating by me. I saw hamburgers. I saw steaks, ribs. I saw any kind of meat. I was just laying there just like, Lord, help me, please. But you know what? When we give those things up, it's just it's, it's a sacrifice to the Lord. It's a sacrifice to the Lord and also for self just to say, hey, those things that we take pleasure in having and sometimes take for granted having meat, period, Especially, you know, with meat prices these days and just hunger around the world. When you cut that out, you really see that. But that's God showing us, y'all. God is showing us something when he gives us that manna and when he gives us that extra provision. So I'm just going to tell you. I had to tell you my funny story reference of laying up here thinking about all kind of meat. But, but then I thought about it. I said, God, your manna and even your extra provision or provision period. It's such a blessing. So we don't want to lose sight of that. And I'm grateful for Lent because those things that we cut out, meat, cell phones, TV, socializing, just whatever, you know, we cut out, you know, we omit. It's all for the glory of God. All right. Be blessed. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you again for supporting. Thank you for getting this word. And then if you have some topics that you want me to talk about, then um, I want you to send them to me just in the comments. Put, you know, if you have questions about, and I would love to discuss them with you. All right. Be blessed. Thank you so much. Have a blessed weekend.